A fire broke out on an oil platform of Argentina's South Atlantic coast, prompting the evacuation of eight workers, the Argentine Navy said on Wednesday. One of the workers suffered slight burn injuries. There was no sign of leaking oil from the platform located between the South American mainland and Tierra del Fugo, said Anibal Morelli, prefect of Rigo, Calio City. An automatic warning system was activated and two rescue ships were on their way. The fire broke out near the sleeping quarters and the galley was not immediately brought under control. The platform is operated by ENAP Sci Petrol, a subsidiary of Chilean natural gas firm ENAP. Moving on, BP PLC's long-awaited internal investigation into the explosion of the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig found that the British oil giant bears some responsibility for the disaster but laid most of the blame on its contractors. The 200-plus page report released on Wednesday drew immediate fire from BP's critics and from its partners in drilling the well, who have argued that BP had the final calls and should have held responsible for the billions of dollars of damage caused by the disaster, which killed 11 workers and set off the worst oil spill in US history. The Obama administration will seek an additional $100 million to begin beefing up its inspections of offshore oil and gas activities in the wake of the Deepwater Horizon disaster, Interior Secretary Ken Salazar said on Wednesday. He made the pitch for more money in accepting the recommendations of an internal review that found out the force of offshore oil and gas inspectors had shrunk by a quarter since 1982, even as offshore oil leases have doubled. We have 4,000 wells and facilities in the Gulf of Mexico, and you need to have those inspectors to get the job done. We need major reform, Salazar said in a conference call with reporters. That's all the news making waves as of now. We will be back soon with some more.